Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today, you guessed it, we're talking the most elusive bug in the game and that is the Scarab Beetle. Now I'm playing on creative with bugs and I'm going to tell you guys why. I just spent the last two hours trying to record this video because that is how hard it is to find these little things. They do not like to be found, they like to just disappear and go places where you won't be able to find them and all around they like to go get themselves stuck in things, get scared by other insects in the yard and then run away at alarmingly fast speeds like you are seeing right here now these things you are going to need to find them and you are going to need to kill them look at that it just ran underneath the bike tire which means it's probably now gone and that right there is exactly why these scarab beetles are no joke they are not fun to fight they are not fun to find and they are not a cool thing that has been added to the game let's face it. yes they are cool that they got added to the game yes could i have killed that one right there all repeatedly when i was running behind it yes but i didn't for just sake of showing you guys how fast they actually are now why have i been recording for so long to be able to find these things because when i say that they are the most elusive thing in the backyard i'm not kidding they are incredibly hard to find look at this here's another one right here but they like to just disappear underneath things as soon as you start fighting them like i touched that one I touched it, so now it is sprinting away from me at top speed, and it's probably going to go hide underneath a rock or something, making it so I can't actually find it anymore. See? Boom. Just like that, it is now gone. Once again, just like all of its tiny little green brethren, you touch them, they run away. They see you, they run away. You hit them with anything, they run away. Now, you may be asking, well then, what do you get from them if they are this hard to fight? You get their twinkling shells from them. Okay, when you get a twinkling shell, I'll see if I can actually find it inside of the crafting menu here for you. When you get a twinkling shell, this is used for one thing and one thing only, and that is to make gems, make quartzite gems, make spicy gems make uh minty gems make quartzite salty spicy all of them you make all these different gems or jewels with these twinkling shells they're incredibly hard to get and you only get one per bug and let's talk about what you're going to need to use these to upgrade with these jewels you need five of them in order to make one upgrade on a weapon and then you're going to need 10 more to make the second upgrade on your weapons to bring them to level 8 and then level 9. So you need to find these things and you need to kill them but they are incredibly hard to kill. And that brings us to the next topic of the day. How do you kill something that can move this fast? How do you hunt something that literally can turn around and disappear in the ground? Well, if you guys look at what I have equipped right now, that's right, gas arrows. Gas arrows are how you end up taking these things down if you can find one. I was actually able to find two. I don't know if I'm going to find another one throughout the rest of the video. But that's how you take them down, is by getting them with gas arrows. And I would suggest using super gas arrows even because the super gas arrows do that much more gas damage to these things you have to remember with how fast they can move they can get out of the gas zone incredibly incredibly fast so it makes it almost impossible to actually hunt these little things because they're like oh yeah well i was in your area but now i'm not i'm all the way over here so yeah super gas arrows or if you're very very lucky like I was when I first got my first one of these things and was able to kill it. I was able to kill it by getting it stuck inside of a spider web that it happened to run into. Not by me, it just happened to be stuck in it when I walked up there. And that was a lucky find. If you ever see anything like that, immediately take advantage of it. Now, to answer your guys' next question on where do you find these things, literally just go ahead and uh, take your cursor and just kind of circle this way, all the way up over here, yeah, all of that, and then all the way back down over here. You find them everywhere over here. There's no specific spawn location for these things. They come and go as they please. I have seen them all over the freaking place. I've seen them down in the canyons. I've seen them walking up to the dry grass. I've seen them walking over near roly polies. I've seen them climbing on top of things, climbing into the termite nest all over the place. And the pain in the butt is actually finding these things and being able to kill one. I'm hoping that I can still find one before the end of the video to show you guys that yes, super gas arrows do work against these things, even though it's going to take a long time for you to be able to find one. 
So I guess while I'm running around, I'll give you guys another tip. While running around looking for these little things, stay up in the air. Stay above the ground because when you're on the ground level, they can see you, you can see them, and they tend to run away from you before you ever get anywhere near them. But if you're up in the air, say up on grass blades or running on some of the new objects that are in the game, they don't tend to see you, so they tend to run right at you sometimes, and that's going to give you an ample amount of time to maybe let loose two arrows if you can, and to be able to take them down. Also, if they are running straight towards you, and you have like a level 7 Club of the Mother Demon, you can club them with two hits, but you got to be really quick on how quickly you can get those two swings out, and make sure that you have the stamina to be able to run after them. Now, let me tell you guys how fast these things are. Even with your Natural Explorer perk on and Aphid Slippers and the Grub Armor that's giving you plus to max stamina, you still will not be able to keep up with these things. They are so fast that it is ridiculous. That's why one of, that's one of the reasons why I don't particularly care to look for them in the game because they're so freaking fast and they, I mean, the level 8 and 9 is great upgrades for your stuff. They're great upgrades, right? I mean, as soon as you start getting into the gloop, you already start getting into some good upgrades. And as soon as you start using gems, you can get some pretty cool upgrades done with your with the, the smithing station for your weapons. But 8 and 9 to me is not super needed. 8 and 9 is like if you have a weapon that you know you're going to use a lot, that you're always going to be using, that you're never going to throw on accident, that you're never going to lose, and that is going to be your main weapon. That's what I would suggest you guys do 8 and 9 with. I do not suggest you guys go out and start trying to get to 8 and 9 with every single weapon in your inventory because these little things are hard to find. I mean, look at I have been recording for another 15 minutes. And still, there has not been a single twinkling little bugger anywhere. They are that hard to find. They are super duper sneaky. They get around you. They see you and they run the opposite direction. Even in Creative with Bugs, if you touch them, they're gone. Which is impressive because in Creative with Bugs, the bugs are supposed to ignore you completely. But not twinkling beetles or scarab beetles. They just run away and you have to run around the map looking for them. So I will keep on running and I will find one for you guys in just a moment. Okay, so I have been searching for 30 minutes, running around trying to find the scarab beetle. I'm not kidding, literally 30 minutes I have been looking, trying to find another one. You saw the two right away in the beginning. It is now a complete another day in the game. I have literally spent an entire day running around in Grounded trying to find another Scarab Beetle and have not been able to find one. So when I said that these things are elusive and hard to find, I was not kidding. They are incredibly hard to find. I have looked in canyons. I have looked in the grass. I have looked in the upper and lower yard. I have run all over the frickin' place. So, sadly, this is where I'm going to leave this video. I wish I could have shown you guys how to do this, but I'm going to have to just show you guys in a live stream. But that is everything about the scarab beetles and how annoying they are. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit the like button for me to let me know you guys enjoyed watching my suffering. If you guys could, also leave me a comment down below telling me how much you enjoyed watching my suffering. And also, if you guys could, don't forget to subscribe. That way you guys can enjoy more of my suffering. But a thank you guys all so much and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next round of suffering